All right. Good morning. How good is morning. everybody doing? Got uh, text coming in saying invalid link. Well, you guys figured it out. I'm not sure so, why. Well, I did, still aren't able to get in. It took me like five tries. Yeah, I, I was having the same issue, stuff. Chris. There's something about the, yeah, the yeah. graphic that's been sent out in the link. Um, I just happened to have it saved in an old document that I've had. But the email that went out, I don't know. Something's going on with the link and the meeting ID because I had to try like four times to get on. Interesting. All right, hang on a second here. Let me post this to crew real quick. Make sure that everybody has a valid meeting ID. Uh, copy clipboard. All right, if you guys want to send out a quick note to your teams, I just posted it. Yep, looks like I'm seeing the post on the uh, cruise. So everybody's having some issues. <clears throat> All right, we'll give uh, get everybody a chance to see the new post. Weird too, Chris, because I checked, like I have a conference call document that I save um, that I give to new recruits that has the national meeting and your meeting, and that mm -hmm. link worked, but the meeting ID is the same. So I don't know. It's just weird. Hmm. that is odd. All right. Those of you who are jumping on, we see we had a little bit of issue with a link for Zoom. So I just posted that up on crew. Hopefully that is getting everybody in. It looks like everybody's getting in. All right, awesome. We'll figure out what's going on with the link and uh, get that Hola, fixed. Hola, I'm in, I'm in. Welcome, welcome. All right, so that link you sit out on crew is working, Chris. All right, cool. All right, we'll figure out what's going on uh with the uh announcement and get that picked so all right so welcome everybody uh, we will uh get the call rolling all right thank you all for jumping in apologies for the technical difficulties but such as it is we will get it fixed and straightened out for next week all right gang uh, first time back together since uh, conference. Obviously, we, last week we had the make hierarchy call. So uh, let's jump in and hit some leaderboards. Got some uh, fun stuff to look at today. Uh, let's see uh, so far for the week. Now, leaderboards again pulled as of this morning, about 930 Central. Uh, and then we've got several more people out riding today and more business to be turned in before the end of day. On the book so far, we have Terry Myers, one application, $809 direct to Stella. Uh, I had two applications for $1,305, so I'm direct to Scott Mink. Donna Bates, two applications, $2,681 direct to Spencer. Sydney Lee, four applications, $2,696 direct to Stella. Stella Dinwiddie herself, leading from the front, four applications, $2,846 direct to myself. Spencer Cushion, four applications, $5,848, direct to myself. Leading from the front, Miss Stacy Love, becoming a fixture there at the top. Seven applications, app count lead for the uh, week as well. And uh, seven applications, $6,398, direct to Donna Bates. For the month of August, uh, we haven't hit August leaderboards yet, uh, again, because of the uh, meeting last week with the Mink hierarchy. So let's hit top 10 uh, for the entire hierarchy. 
Uh, we had NGO Gooding, five applications, $8,635, directed John Paul. Salvatore Manzo, 11 applications, $8,671, directed Joanna Doyman. Stella Dinwiddie, 14 applications, $9,501, directed myself. Stephanie Stubbs, 12 applications, $11,399, directed John Paul. Eric Sullivan, four applications, $12,924, directed John Paul. Stacy Love, 15 applications. $13,084 directed to myself. Uh, John Paul, seven applications, $14,150 directed to myself. Spencer Cushion, nine applications, $14,181. See the number three spot overall for the hierarchy. Uh, direct to myself. Wendy Cox, 13 applications, $14,990 directed to Sean Cochran. Number one, Jenny Gray, 19 applications, $24,237 directed to John Paul. Pretty solid month, given the fact that we had about a week out uh, for conference. That was a uh, investment on everybody's part, not only traveling, but also missing out uh, on a few days of business. But those of you who are there, I think, see that that is a worthwhile investment. And we'll talk a little bit more about that here this morning. I am going to attempt to do a quick screen share here whoops hang on just a second uh let's do a uh oh let's see wait a minute i want to do a uh quick slideshow because i got a couple of announcements i want to uh all right share screen all right, gang, uh, let's, uh, well, I said I'm going to share a screen. Uh, wait a minute. The tech struggle is real. There we go. Hopefully everybody can see that. Uh, we have some announcement, guys. We want to uh, call out uh, some folks who are uh, doing some great things here. Uh, we had Ms. Julie Baker, new SNA in the hierarchy. Guys, that is uh, a huge uh, accomplishment. SNA, these new agents, writing six applications in the first six weeks. Uh, the, that has been identified by Symmetry as a marker for future success. Somebody that can come in, write six applications uh, in the first six weeks from the time that they become contracted has a uh, infinitely better chance at succeeding. So congratulations, Julie. We also want to give a shout out to Ms. Jennifer Simpson, also SNA. Guys, season new agent, this is such an important uh, milestone in your journey. And it's really the first one uh, on the path. We'll talk a little bit about Summit here in a little bit. Uh, you know, the new training platform, or the updated new and improved, I should say, training platform. But uh, this is kind of, this is base camp. This is hitting uh, that first marker on your journey to the top. And it's an important one. So we run, We want to make sure that we recognize um, these folks and uh, their uplines. Uh, Julie uh, uh, with uh, Stella and then uh, Jennifer with Ayana, and uh, obviously Terry and uh, Stella helping uh, in that team as well. So great job uh, to these folks for hitting SNA. And that is a huge accomplishment. So shout out to you all. The next big announcement, uh, guys, we have our golden chicken winner for August. So we got a two-time winner, Miss Stacy Love. <laughs> yep, yep. And I saw on crew posted the other day, we finally got uh, the uh, golden chicken arrived at her doorstep. Uh, that's a good one. I'm going to have to remember that one because that, uh, we've had to kind of, yes, beautiful golden chicken for the most applications written in a month. That is a, the most prestigious award that we now have available in the agency, uh, surpasses any and all, even that symmetry gives out. So we, uh, we are, uh, very, uh, very glad to see, uh, Stacy being a two-time winner of that. Guys, uh, big announcement, Gathering of Eagles, August 14th through 17th, 2022. 
uh, talking with Jacob, talking with Scott. We want to make the gates and the door as wide as we possibly can. We want anybody and everybody there who is serious about building a business with symmetry. How do you build a business? Well, uh, obviously, you can come in, write a lot of business and take care of yourself, take care of your family and, and help people uh, protect their needs. But uh, one of the ways that you build a business is you build an agency. And you build an agency through building a sales organization or a sales team. And uh, that's no small feat. So it requires a lot of intentionality and it requires a lot of mentorship and training. And so that's what this event is about. Uh, we have actually expanded the qualifications on this, guys. Uh, originally, this was key leader and above. We're actually opening this up to team leader and above. So if you have qualified for team leader or if you have hit one month of qualification since July, uh, you are now qualified. We're also, uh, again, going to give uh, a little extra incentive and, again, an opportunity for uh, for anybody and everybody. Let's say you're brand new and you're like, ah, oh, shoot, I'm, I'm late to the party. I just I started and I haven't even had a chance to get out of the gate to uh, – uh, to qualify for one of these these levels of leadership. Guys, we're going to open this up to anybody who in the month of September gets 10 onboardings back completed. Just 10. Uh, you know, typically our, our, our metric for explosive growth is getting 20 or more back. But we said, hey, anybody that's willing to put in the work and get 10 back uh, is going to be a qualifier for this event. So October 14th arriving uh 15th and 16th will be our meetings team events hanging out um we may or may not be hanging from wires in the air we'll see how uh, how things go but uh we're gonna have a blast uh jacob pogue uh is going to be there in training on leadership scott mank is going to be there training on leadership uh myself uh i'm going to be there obviously uh since i'm the host of the event but uh, and then our other agency owners, uh, John Paul and Stalas. So this is going to be an opportunity uh, for growth, but also for association guys. So uh, take uh, take advantage of this. Uh, be there, be square. So, all right, I'm going to stop that share, and I'm going to pause and uh, open up uh, for our uh, team leads to. Uh, uh, to give any announcements, shouts, recognitions, anything that they need to share. Uh, Stella, Stacy, Spencer, I'm calling out names as I go here. I'm not trying to overlook anybody, but uh, if you've got something you want to uh, chip in, now's the time to do it. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to just welcome in uh, Jaron Lee today. I think he's on the call. He's uh, coming in from, I gave him a shout out on crew this week, just joined us, coming in from the military, military intelligence. So, Thanks for his service and coming into a, a great team. So we welcome Jaron Lee. Welcome. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Chris. I'm just super excited watching this team, all the teams grow. Uh, we've got a new member also, not here because she's working, but super duper excited. I see Liz and Chase are on here. For those of you that don't know, they're a super power couple team in the making and um, their, their sister just uh, is joined us and she used to have her license and she's uh, reinstating it. She's already started it and I've got so many great people, got Jim, um, just everybody. But um, I just also wanted to give a shout out to Julie Baker. Um, she has been, you know, some, sometimes we see things on the leaderboards and you don't see things behind the scenes. And we see the announcements and recognition, but I really want to give recognition to the hard work that's putting being put in behind the scenes. And I know there's a lot of you putting in a lot of hard work. And I just want to encourage you that insurance season, like it's open season. It is here now. And don't despair. Um, if you haven't met your goal for double production, today is the last day. Um, if you've had a lot of reschedules like I have in the last week, you know what? That's your opportunity to just get back on and backfill it with appointments. That's what I've been doing. My team knows that. They've been on Zoom with me every day. Um, and I just really appreciate, you know, and I'm so grateful for the amazing people that I get to work with here. I just really want to make sure that you all know that because 
what we do here, it is a simple process, but we know it's not easy. And we're just so grateful for all the hard work that you pour in to your clients, um, to your downline, to your sideline, to your upline, and just really want to make sure that you understand that. Cool. Thank you, Stella. Also, I want to give a shout out to all the leaders for a second. Um, I know the other day when I was, I was a little out of sorts with my daughters and losing money in her bank account and had someone stolen it. And uh, just I know my little prayer warriors out there put up a prayer. Just thank you guys. She actually got that money back in a day. So just want to uh, thank everybody that uh, prayed about that. Appreciate it. This is good. Money found, we rejoice. <laughs> yeah, especially starving college students. That's right. That's right. That buys a lot of ramen. That's right. <laughs> I have one quick announcement, um, Chris. We added a gal. Uh, she just joined crew this morning and just posted an announcement. Um, this gal, Sarah Affleck, from not any relation to Ben Affleck that I'm aware of anyway, but she does have... Um, some interesting connections. So she's from South Carolina and she's starting to study for her test. But she mentioned to me when we've, we've spoken a couple of times that her best friend is married to Edward Pritchett's brother. <laughs> and so I thought, huh, that's interesting. So I guess she had a conversation with Ed Pritchett's brother, who's not in the business anymore. Um, I don't know. She just I guess wasn't going to go that avenue, um, but somehow she made it to me. So um, I just onboarded her this past week, and she's super sweet. So I'm excited to get her going. Awesome, great, a lot of work, a lot of a lot of growth happening. Uh, we see uh, kind of a tidal wave building, so that's exciting. And uh, anybody else? All right, gang, let's go ahead and get uh, kicked off here. Uh, again, it's kind of our first time back together since uh, conference, um, and wanted to um, wanted to talk a little bit about some of what what came out there, <clears throat> and uh, not from a sense of just kind of rehashing everything, because obviously those of you who are there who saw it. But what do we do with that now? What do we do with that? Because you know the things. Obviously, it was it was kind of mind boggling. We had uh, just a ton of stuff thrown at us. But my big takeaway, you know, we've, we've been hearing a lot here in the last few years about how, you know, we're on track to, you know, we're right now, what, $170 million company in, in tra tracking, targeting towards a billion dollar company. And then it's kind of inched up a little bit. And now we're thinking probably $2 billion. And then, you know, all of a sudden, uh, you know, we get to conference and we have Mark Palmer, you know, uh, kind of the the uh, kind of the, the uh, genius behind the curtain, if you will, uh, comes out and says, oh, yeah, by the way, in the next three years, a $10 billion company. And guys, that kind of exponential growth is just mind boggling. It's hard to even wrap your head around those numbers. But what's in it for me? I mean, that's that's. You know, that's really, and maybe if I were to retitle the call, that's kind of WIFM, what's in it for me? Because that's what we're all here for. Why Why are we in this business? Yeah, I mean, we we, we believe in the company. We believe in the, the products and helping people. But we're, we're all here to accomplish something for ourselves, for our families, for our futures. So what's in it for me? Guys, you know, you know I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this towards the end of the call. But just to go from... To go from a hundred, let's just round up, let's say a two hundred million dollar company to a ten billion dollar company in about a three year window. That, and you got to understand, in the last twelve years, we went from a zero dollar company to a uh, to a two hundred million dollar company. Now that's that's getting that's getting some serious growth. I mean, I don't care. You know, you look at the the charts. That's just pretty phenomenal growth. But to go from 200 to 10 billion, or yeah, 200 million to 10 billion, that's exponential growth, guys. And what's in it for you is for each and every one of you who are here, you, you don't have to capture every one of those $10 billion. If you can just get a small sliver of that pie, 
you will not recognize your life in 36 months. In fact, I'm going to say it specifically in 36 months, because three years, sometimes when we put year on the end, that sounds like a long time. But, you know, all of us, I can look at the pictures on here and, and some of us have a lot more miles on our cells than others. And, and we recognize that uh, time clicks by pretty quick. And when we look where we were three years ago, that's really not that long ago. In fact, for a lot of you, I'd say you'd probably kind of say where the last, last three years gone. So 36 months from now, if we can execute as a company on what they're putting in place, and if you will plug into this and try to capture or just, just try to capture a, a, the tail of the tornado, guys, you will not you will not understand where there's no way I, I can't I can't vision cast for you big enough to understand where we're going to be in 36 months where you not we where you are going to be in 36 months that's going to require a lot of intentionality it's going to require a lot of commitment it's going to require a lot of faith you know faith is uh you know uh is is basically uh, uh you know believing in something knowing that it's going to be there but it's not there but just knowing it, it will be there. But faith without actions is is dead, as as uh, as we learn. So it's going to require plugging in to this amazing system. But what I love about what what Symmetry and Quilty is putting together is they're putting this together in a way where, you know, a lot of times uh, a lot of companies will get their valuations by by cutting by cutting staff, by cutting expenses, by, you know, basically padding their numbers, taking away things. This company is getting their growth by adding, by multiplying, by exponential growth. So let's talk about, you know, how do you tap into this? Well, we rolled out uh, Summit, uh, which some of it already existed. You know, those of you who have been around for a while or are uh, fairly new have been exposed to Summit. But, um, but Summit has changed dramatically. And to tap into that 10 billion, guys, we've got to tap into every piece of this puzzle along the way. That's going to be my challenge to you this morning is as they're rolling things out, look, they're rolling them out at, at, a, at light speed. So it's hard to keep up. I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling myself to keep up with everything that's, that's hitting, uh, hitting the table here. <clears throat> but as we learn from, uh, you know, as we learn, uh, you know, from, from some of our top leaders, uh, you know, as we learn from John Maxwell, who came to conference about three years ago and said, anything worthwhile is all uphill. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of digging in. And so my challenge to you first is, you know, when they put a reimagined summit, when they rebuilt that, uh, I love what they did because you look at some of the top businesses in the industry, especially in the insurance financial services, there are some companies that have some excellent training programs. It's kind of funny. They have terrible business models, but they have good training programs. Um, but um, they reimagined Summit as a ground up from, from a brand new dead stop agent who's got their license fresh off the printer and taking that person by the hand and leading them to 120 equity partner, soon to be 130 equity partner, sharing in the entire growth of the company through equity bonuses. Guys, um, my challenge to you all is plug into that very, very quickly. You know, um, don't sit on that and think, well, I'll get around to it. I'll get to it in between things. Be very intentional. Get that on your calendar. And, you know, as, as the saying goes, anytime you point at somebody else, three fingers are pointing back at yourself. And that's that's the same with me. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you, but I'm saying this to me as well. Because it's easy for somebody who's, who's you know, who's, who's further down the track and already you know, I've already got a, a great team that I'm staring at here to say, well, okay, well, I'll get to it eventually. Now, I mean, it, we, we've all got to go back to square one and, and get up to speed. <clears throat> because this is, you've heard the term a lot of times, I'm sure, 
uh, if you've listened to any of our calls, you know, this is very similar to a franchise. Yeah, if you go buy a, um, uh, you, you know, I, mean, I think McDonald's is probably one of the most franchise, uh, famous franchise models in, in the world. But when you buy a McDonald's franchise, you go to McDonald's University. You know, the owner of the franchise has to understand how to turn burgers the way they turn burgers. Doesn't have to know how to make good burgers. Just know, has to know how to do the process the same way that every other McDonald's in the in the world does it. <clears throat> and so, Symmetry and Quality has taken this model and and franchised it in a way where, guys, I don't think you understand. I know you don't understand because if you weren't around three, four, five years ago when we were recruiting, and Spencer can attest to this, like there were hours and hours on the phone walking people through okay here's where you go here's what you do next here's the next step and and it was all over the place it was scattered it was a little bits of information all right go to the carrier to get this but go to home office to get this and then go here to print this out and and now to have everything encapsulated in one beginning to end that's huge so how do you tap into 10 billion? Well, it starts at, it starts at the beginning. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step and that starts with summit. So my challenge is to you do the work because out of that comes programs like Switchboard. Now we've got a lot of questions. When do I get access to Switchboard? It's coming. I know there was, a, I don't know why that, how this wound up somewhere, but there was a statement somewhere on the website said, reach out to your agency owner. Um, don't reach out to your agency owner. We don't have a clue. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you it's coming. <laughs> and what, uh, what they're telling us is they're going to roll it out in phases. Um, meaning, uh, they're trying to get everybody, uh, onboarded as quickly as possible. So they're just kind of going down in, in typically this is how it's, it, it goes down by level of hierarchy. People have been here the longest and then, you know, to, to a certain degree production, I mean, you know, the people that are producing the most, they're going to be giving access. Obviously, people that were at conference and got in on the announcements and, and the introduction, uh, those are getting access first, and then they're, they're rolling it out. I would, my guess is, I don't know that we have, um, I don't know that we have a timeline, but I, I know they're trying to roll it out as quickly as possible. So I would say probably within the next six to eight weeks, everybody should have access to switchboard. And I will say, I've been, you know, again, learning this as part of the, you know, the new process that we're doing. I, I you know, I announced myself for two applications this morning. And, and those of you who've been around know that I don't write much anymore. Those came from automation, guys. Those were 100% automation and texting with people, basically. And, and I write a couple pieces of business and I've got more to write. I've got some people that, that are basically, we just got to schedule time to get on and do their application. So Spencer, you had uh, something. Chris, uh -huh. Yeah. Can I jump in on that a little bit? Yeah. So I got my switchboard stuff early this week. Um, just wanted to share kind of the process. It was a beautiful thing. Um, They've got it so streamlined. And so speaking into what you said before, when we first came into the business, how everything was a bit here, a bit over there, a bit this, a bit that. Um, so the process is simple. Uh, basically, they want you to go through about 13 videos, 13 to 15 videos on the training just to get some, some baseline for those people that didn't do um, the initial on those. And then you'll do an hour phone call. And he basically just goes over it again and goes a little deeper on how to set it up. Uh, but it was super smooth. I've, I logged in early this morning, just setting everything up, and I cannot wait to get it going, man, for automation on those internet leads. And definitely, I'm going to put in an order for Razor Ridge. So, uh, super excited about it. Yeah. So it's it. Once you get it, it's it's streamlined, super fast. It basically moves as quick as you do. And then you just set up a Zoom call with the leadership, and you just jump on the very next one. It lasts an hour, and and then. Right after that, you get your email to go into Switchboard. So it's super easy. Cool. Love that feedback. Yeah, again, it, they, they have really designed this to, and, and I love, 
Well, we listened to, to Frank Brennis, you know, one of the founders uh, of Switchboard talk last week and, uh, you know, it, I, I caught that he said when, when Frank or when uh, Mark Palmer got involved, you know, the, the, uh, their directive was we got to make this as simple for everybody to, to be able to integrate as quickly as possible. Uh, because there's a lot of us who are not uh, tech savvy, shall we say, uh, or at least on on uh, something as as new as this. So, be on the look for Switchboard. Um, again, don't know when you will be getting that, but just kind of uh, be watching and, and making sure as soon as you get access to it, jump on it, guys. That is going to be the uh, that that is the future of our business. Chris, could I interject just one thing real quick? Sure, absolutely. Um, with the switchboard and when you go through your hour of training, um, it was very effective for me to have it up and running and be signed up and everything as opposed to just trying to take notes through the whole thing so that he could take you through the process. And uh, that would just be a suggestion I would have for everyone. Cool. Awesome. I appreciate that, Jim. And, you know, here's the thing about Switchboard that, um, you know, as with anything that we, we're new and that we're learning, you know, this is going to be a little bit different way of doing business. One of the things that I'm finding out is, you know, and, and this is a good thing. This is, this is what this is designed to do because, you know, it, it is uh, more of a uh, drawn out sales process. You know, especially for somebody like myself who started in the business, who we called, we set our appointments, we went out, we met with the client, we were one call close. I mean, it we signed it that night or we didn't sign it because we just didn't have the time to follow up with people. And and this is just, this is more of a nurturing process. And the system is, what I love about it is the system is doing the nurturing for you because I, anybody that knows me knows I'm not detail oriented. And, and that kind of follow up, that level of follow up just, just doesn't click with me. But to have the system, uh, and I and it had to happen. I had somebody that I talked to here. Uh, in fact, I've got to write an application with them as soon as we can get the, our schedules to align. But probably the system contacted them two or three weeks ago, and there was a few days of back and forth, and all of a sudden they just disappeared. I again just t telling on myself, guys. In the past, I never would have followed up with somebody like that. I would have been on to the next one, on to the next lead right business and move on down the road, right? They actually answered a drip text earlier this week and we're back in conversation and we finally got down to some numbers that they like. And again, it's just a matter of scheduling the time to, to write the business. So I understand that this is, you know, this, this is going to be a, a powerful leverage for you and your time, but also understand and, and, and really dig in and learn that this is a different way of doing business. It's a better way of doing business, but it's going to be different. It's going to take some adjustment and, and just stick with it. Plug into all the resources. We've got Facebook groups. Uh, we're having training calls. You know, you're, you're going to have plenty of support uh, to, to make this work. So, guys, um, my quality. Who's excited about my quality? Is that not an amazing program? I mean, my mind is just, I, I have trouble wrapping my head around what MyQuility, because it, you know, MyQuility, for those of you who are brand new, this is your first call, started out a few months ago as a prescription drug discount, which, hey, I mean, we were getting some great stories. I mean, people were saving some serious money on prescription drugs. So that's a good thing. There's a lot to feel good about. But let's face it, that's not exactly the, you know, the, the, the flashiest, sexiest thing out there is saving on prescription drugs. Uh, it's necessary. It's needed. But they took the program and they blew it up. They blew it up to now include lifestyle. So shopping, traveling, dining out, resorts. Guys, I was looking at, at, at resorts the other night. You know, I mean, any resort area that you can imagine. Um, you can go in and book and do so at a discount. So save money on the booking, but also they've now integrated where we get, uh, we get uh, paid basically for anybody that uses those links to, to book. Now, here's the thing that jumped out at me. 
And I was kind of blown away with this because when Ethan was talking about on the Wednesday call, Mike Quillity said, we only have about a third of symmetry agents who are signed up for this. Guys, if you're not signed up for this, and maybe you're here brand new and you didn't even, you weren't even aware of what you didn't know. Uh, okay, that's okay. But if you've been here for any length of time and you haven't signed up for Mike Quillity, what are you doing? This is a free program. And, you know, it kind of comes down to one of our tenets of you got to believe in what you're selling. So you got to be front line. You got to be signed up for what you can sign up for. Don't waste time, guys. Get signed up for this program and utilize it. You know, I'm, I was amazed as I was looking at my quality. I shouldn't say amazed. I mean, I, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, to be honest with you, as far as what was available in my area, because I'm not necessarily in a big metropolitan area. You know, we've got... Uh, you know, we've got a lot of restaurants and stuff around, but still it's, it, we're not, you know, a major metropolitan city guys. There's, there's all kinds of stuff around me that I can get discounts on from dining to entertainment, to travel, you know, I mean, it, it is really mind boggling. So take advantage of that, but guys go understand and learn what my quality is going to do for you. As you bring people on, what's going to do for them, number one, from savings, uh, the prescription drug savings are still there, but now we've expanded it out into, you know, health care uh, through the <clears throat> partnership with Walmart. But then the savings on uh, travel, dining out. But understand what happens when people start using that program, what that does for your business. Guys, anytime they buy anything and, and people buy stuff, obviously we're a consumer nation. We buy stuff all day, every day, 365. We buy stuff all the time. And if you can capture just a bit of that, you and, 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 and be intentional when you're signing people up. Hey, where are you going this weekend? What's your plans? Are you going out to eat? All right, well, let's take a look. Let's see what's available in your area. Oh, you've got these three restaurants that give you, you know, 10% off, 20% off. Are you taking any vacations? Where do you want to go? Guys, it's so simple to go in and, and search that stuff. But if you want to be a part of that, that sliver of that 10 billion, you've got to get involved. You've got to jump in and you've got to, you've got to learn this stuff. Take advantage of, of my quality, guys. That is such... A powerful tool for your business and look at the end of the day it's again it's free it's free to you it's free to the clients and 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 if you're if you can't sell free or if you're not willing to sell free you're probably not in the right business this is this is uh you know this is a, a business where we're used to selling you know things that cost quite a bit of money and now we're asking somebody hey would you like to save money? Oh, and by the way, we're not going to charge you anything. We don't need your credit card. We don't need your bank statements. We don't need your personal information. We just need your name and your email address. That's that's huge, guys. You know, I it's funny. I started in uh, Symmetry full-time January 2016. So I'm actually coming up on seven years now in October when I got licensed because uh, I talked to Scott probably in uh, August or September of 2015, started the licensing process, was working somewhere else. And so, you know, had had to do that on the side, took my license in uh, October of 2015, ran a couple appointments uh, after I got contracted in November, December. Uh, again, still doing my other thing, but ran a couple appointments, sold both of those. And I'm like, well, this is way much more fun and, and way easier than what I was doing. And so January 2016, I dove in full time. My first conference was uh, Raleigh in January, into January 2016. And guys, I will never forget because they were. They were so excited. That was the first conference that they had over a thousand people at conference. And they were just, they were, they were ecstatic over the moon. And, and that was a huge milestone for them. Now, this last conference, we had about 5,000 signed up. But back in January 2016, they had a thousand. And I will never forget uh, from stage, Brandon Ellison, one of our founders, 
made the statement, guys, if every one of you who are in this room right now just stays here, just, just stick it out for the next 10 years, every one of you will be millionaires in this room. Now, that's a bold statement. For a thousand people, that's a pretty bold statement. But again, that was January 2016. We're now in 2022. That's six years out. And in the next three years, we're going from 200 million to a $10 billion company. That's going to be hitting right at that 10 year mark. And in that time, you know, I've been able to build uh, an amazing agency with you all as partners. And with that, I've been able to uh, qualify for uh, our, our uh, programs such as EARS, Equity Appreciation Rights, for the last two years. Point being, is that is becoming more and more realistic every day that I've been here. I could tell you back in January 2016, that didn't mean anything to me because I was at the back of the room brand new, had written a couple of policies, and, and that was it. You know, but as uh, as I have just stuck it out, quite frankly, uh, I tell people all the time, I, I haven't had original thoughts since I've gotten here. I've always followed what everybody else is doing and try to copy it the best I can. And that's what Marshall Whalen's always said, the best copycat wins. I mean, there's some brilliant, innovative people in our company. And I just try to pay attention to what they're doing and copy whatever they're doing. So my message for you this morning is you don't have to come in here and shake things up and reinvent the wheel and create your own path and you know and and, and be the you know be the innovator. In fact, you you would be miles ahead if you just came in, plugged into this system, catch the tail of the tiger and and ride it. And be, be involved, be consistent, tap into what's happening, and, and find a way, find your place in, in this company. And sometimes that takes a little time, guys. I mean, sometimes I get that, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, uh, you know we, a lot of times when I'm interviewing somebody, they're, they're talking about, well, you know, how, what's the training look like, you know? And I tell them, honestly, training never stops. I mean, because you think about it, we've got, I don't even, I mean, I hear numbers. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know. I've been here seven years. I don't know how many carriers we have. I've, I've heard 40. I've heard 70. We've got a lot of carriers. We don't use them all. But within each carrier, we have multiple products, multiple sales concepts. We have stuff innovating all the time. So since I've been here, debt-free life and infinite banking, banking have come down the pipe. We have programs, specialty programs like Smart Start, you know, the, the advanced markets. Those are growing exponentially. So you'll be able to find your niche. You'll be able to find your specialty. You'll be able to find that thing that excites you and ignites you. But it all starts with the basics. And my challenge to each and every one of you is to plug in from, from leadership down to the brand new person, you know, uh, I put the challenge out a couple of years ago to, you know, I wanted to see us become an agency of, of excellence. And that requires each one individually working harder to become better and become excellent themselves. And we do that through doing the small things, the simple things, through plugging in. And, you know, the thing that I'm excited about coming out of conference is, again, yeah, this, this is mind-boggling, these numbers going to $10 billion in three years from a $200 million company. That, that's just, that's going to happen fast, gang. But the way you're going to capture that is doing little things every day to become a part of that, tapping into that growth. But by tapping into it, uh, by getting involved in these programs and learning them, 
piece by piece. Don't try to do it all at once, but learning them inside and out. Guys, uh, we're, we're, we're a little uh, early today. Um, anybody have anything they want to share, uh, especially to some of those who've been around for a while about the future of this company and kind of where, where you see things going for, for yourself and for the business? Yeah, I'll be happy to share. Or was someone else going to talk? Sorry. Go ahead, Stella. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rock the pond, Stella. Do, oh, go ahead, Spencer. No, I want you to rock the pond, Stella. <laughs> I love you, Spencer. Seriously, you guys, I just, you know, what you're saying, Chris, you know, the timeline, just sticking it out. I can't tell you how grateful and thankful that I really am. Like I, it is the, that what, what has come through, I've only been here about three years, but over time it's, you know, every new benefit that this company has implemented and added it, the examples of what it's actually transferred into, it's not just money in the bank. You know, I mean, we've had, um, there's been a couple, if you, a couple of months where I've had uh, $2,000 deposit in my bank. And I'm like, where did this come from? And it came from QRS. They're from like past clients that I helped and I had nothing to do with them, but it's just because over time I've helped all these people. And now we, behind the scenes, Quility's teams, they reach out and they do all the follow-up. And when they write business with them, IULs, annuities, you know, life insurance, I get a piece of that pie back to me and I didn't even see it coming. And like, how many times can you feel like, you know, oh gosh, you know, I mean, we make, you know, good money here, but let's face it, it's, it's, it's daily, it's weekly. It's not like a salaried income. So, you know, if you have a down week and all of a sudden, if you had a $2,000 deposit, like, what would that do for you? And for me, that did a lot for me. And for, you know, some of you know, you know, coming out of, you know, past debt, you know, it's humbling to say, I'm still renting. So my rent is like $2,700 a month. That was almost paid my rent. And so it's the things like that, that I'm so grateful beyond words. And it's, and it's also the carrier trips. Like just if you, like you're saying, Chris, I love what you said about how don't try to reinvent things. We've all tried to done that, do that. The, the system that's in process, like if you look at the numbers on the leaderboards and you listen to the people, you know, that, you know, have, you know, that where we found that success, it's just simply from, you know, putting your head down and doing the process. And all of a sudden you look up and you're like, oh my gosh. I didn't even see that coming. I won a trip to Hawaii. I won the Champions Cup. You know, you know, there's things that happen to people out there. You, Chris, aren't, isn't it you? Aren't you um, going to the other Champions Cup? There's so many different ones now. But um, you're going to Costa Rica, aren't you? Yeah, next week we'll be in Costa Rica. How crazy amazing is that? All paid for. Like Terry, you won a trip to Cabo on our team earlier, you know, and I remember, you know, what you told me, how that made you feel like all expense paid. Like, in, and if you don't mind me putting you on the spot, Terry, you know, just winning the trip to Cabo, all the expense trade, would you mind just sharing like that, how that made you feel? Um, it was terrible. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, it was great. I mean, I think the biggest um, part for me was um, just getting to see all, at that point, we had never had any meetings or anything. So I hadn't met anybody in Symmetry in person. So that was a great opportunity for me to um, just spend some time, you know, with mentors and, and get to know people. And, and it wasn't over Zoom. And, you know, the location didn't suck either. It, we were on the beach. It was a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice place. So um, it was great. It was great. It definitely, definitely kind of changed my thought of the company and, and what's possible even more so. I think it changed my husband's mind 
Um, you know, he didn't have the exposure to what we do every day on the national calls to kind of see what's going on behind the scenes. And, um, you know, he had an opportunity to talk to Scott and Jacob and just he saw the possibility, you know, he's, you know, and so it's kind of funny. He's been my biggest cheerleader ever since we got back from Cabo. So it was, it was great. And thank you, Stella. Uh -huh. You know, it was all because, you know, you're the one that ran the contest. So thank you for that. Yeah, and thank you for all your hard work. Like, you know, you too, there's so many of you. I just really want to encourage each one of you that even though your name isn't on, you know, if, if our names, my name wasn't on the top of the leaderboard last week, but it's what Chris, you know, I love what you're saying, Chris, is that it's that intentionality of doing something every single day that is pushing you towards your goal. All of a sudden, it's like that bamboo. They, I love the story of how bamboo grows. You know, it grows super duper slow. And then all of a sudden, though, all of the forces of nature, it just expands like huge. It's like people say, oh, the overnight success. Jacob was not an overnight success. Neither were you being able to have your all expense paid trip going to cost Costa Rica. Like, I love that call. Um, if those of you who aren't there, if you were there on that poke call, you know, he was like, the guy was a bartender. The guy makes millions now. He is living a total life of abundance. And it wasn't always like that for him. He went through a lot of struggles and he shared a lot of humbling moments about the mistakes he made and about how in the beginning, you know, how things, you know, were not easy. And for a lot of us here, we're like in, in that phase almost because we're not where Chris is or where Jacob is, but it does come with time and intentionality like you're talking about, Chris just, you know, continuing, even if you don't see your bamboo shooting out of the soil just yet, everything good takes time. Nothing good comes easy. It takes intentionality. And I love what you said. I wrote that down, you know, faith without action is dead. You know, we can have all the faith in the world, but we also have to move our feet. And so I'm so grateful to have, you're an awesome mentor, Chris. And everything that you said here is gold, you know, getting on the micrility. I'm going to make sure I get through that. I do have one question um, before I pass it off to anybody else is I've had some people ask me because I know that the contests have changed over time. So if you don't mind me asking you here, Chris, um, they've asked me if the double production week, you know, that ends today, does that count towards their slingshot APV promotion? I, I don't think that it does, but I don't want to tell them no, because I'm not sure, and I couldn't find it in the fine fine lining. No, uh, it counts towards uh, destination trips. Uh, so, you know, so next week, or next year, rather, uh, destination is, uh, is Cabo. Right. So, no, I know it counts towards the contest. My question specifically is if it counts towards slingshot um, promotion. No. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. So um, those of you that have asked, there, there's your answer. Thank you. Well, since we're talking about slingshot, for those of you that haven't gotten to 85% yet, I highly encourage you to bust your butt to get that slingshot promotion. It's amazing because you can cut your time to the top in half and you get a bonus, like a literal check. I guess that's what a bonuses, but you actually get a, a physical check for 10% of the business that you issue paid for that slingshot month. So I was able to go to from 80 to 85% and I got a check for like $1,600 just for working every day. Um, and it was amazing. And the fact that it's been extended um, is something to really, 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 really take advantage of. Thank you, Stacy. And great point, Stacy, because, you know, Chris, speaking into what you were saying is and nowhere in corporate America can you get these bonuses when you step into a job. Um, so, you know, looking at symmetry where where we are today and where we were, you know, Chris, I came in right behind you, I think about a year and a half later. Um, you know, I think this for me the last year and a half when I moved, got out of the, the, the financial stress where I had to make bukus of, of, of money just to survive. 
Um, I have really, I got to tell you, I really love it here. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't see the forest for the trees. And so, you know, when you're in it, you've got to make X to just put your kids through school, pay your bills. Don't get me wrong. It was fun, but it was stressful. Now, because I took out some of that, that, you know, what we needed to make, man, I'm having fun. And, you know, it, it's just it's just taken on a whole new meaning for me being here, what now going on six years. Um, but to speak into corporate a little bit, you know, Chris, you and I talked about this a little bit the other day. You know, when we first used to go to conferences, it was always like, OK, this is coming down the pike. Be waiting for that. Right. And it would come down and we get going. Now you see everything's come to fruition. We've we've you know, we've, we're coming to the finish line of what they talked about years ago. I can't wait to see what's coming next. Like what, what, are, how are they going to outdo themselves now? You know, it's, it's so awesome. My quality is phenomenal. I've been all over that. I just can't wait to wait to use them. Getting ready to buy some tires. I'm going to use the coupon to buy some tires for my car. So, you know, it, nobody has this, nobody. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. So, you know, I would encourage new recruits, people that are just been here a year, you know, yeah, it'll get rough at times, you know, everybody goes through that, you know, just like, and, you know, you guys know my sports background, keep going, keep fighting, keep playing, keep following the metrics because it all pays off. So, yeah, I, I'm just, I think for me, it's just, it's all about the fun now. I, I just enjoy Man, I can't wait for the next step, you know? Yeah, thank you, Spencer. That's huge. You know, a couple of nuggets that I took out of what you just said there. And as you were saying this, it kind of it, it took me back to the digital conference we had last. Jimmy Spilldinner, um, you know, was one of the featured speakers. Jimmy, unfortunately, we lost him here a few months ago to uh, – colon cancer, uh, tragic situation because the guy was, you know, in his early 40s. And, you know, you know, as uh, just, I don't know, it, you know, young daughter, um, they just all, everything about it, you know, is, is just was really, really sad. Uh, and Jimmy was just such a, a sweet, cool guy. Um, didn't really know him well, got to meet him a couple of times. But, uh, you know, I remember him saying from stage, I'm going to paraphrase, I'm probably I'm not going to say it as well as he did, but, you know, design your life that you're going to live forever, but be intentional enough that if you die tomorrow, you've got everything in place. And Spencer, what you just said there, you know, by changing your uh, your circumstances allowed you to appreciate the business more. And I encourage each and every one of you to really be intentional about your business and about your lifestyle. You know, if you've got to make changes to make this, um, to make this work better for you, take a look at that. You know, I think one of the things a lot of times when we work with a new agent and this is something I really try to focus on. I think it's it's it, it, it's something we all got to get better at. Is you got to know what what your bottom line number is. What do I have to make? What do I want to make? And what's my shoot for the moon dream number? And and the thing I love about this business is you can build your productivity. You can build everything that you need and want around that. This the the numbers are so consistent in our system. We can take where you are, where you need to be, where you want to be, and we can reverse engineer that. You know, one of the biggest challenges I think I see with folks not getting where they want in the business is they don't plug into their upline enough. You got to go to the people who've been there and have walked the path bef before you have. And you can be humble enough to ask them, hey, you know, here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. What you know, what, am I missing anything? Am I on track? We've got to take a look at those numbers, guys. I mean, everything's, you know, everything's got to be measured. And what I love about this system is, it, you know, our, our numbers are very, very consistent. I can look at any given month uh, on, at, at the end of, of any month at the production numbers. 
and I can just look at the big number, how much was submitted. And I can pretty much tell you from that how many riders we had, how many applications were submitted. Uh, there, there are a lot of different factors that I can tell just by looking at that number because everything is so uh, duplicatable. So I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you all sharing. I see coming up on the top of the hour, don't want to extend the call uh, too much past the, um, uh, past the top of the hour. But uh, gang, uh, take a look at where you're at. Take a look at where you want to go. Plug into the system, get in the summit, start that trek. Start that trek, get, you know, start that process and then plug into your mentor. Let them know where you want to go. Let them know what your goals are, where you want to be, and when you want to be there. Next 90 days, next six months, next year. In three years, in 36 months, while a company is a $10 billion company, what do you want? What do you want out of that? What, what piece of that, that pie do you want? And let's put it together. All right, gang. Let's wrap up the call. Let everybody get on with a Friday. I know we've got a lot of appointments to wrap out uh, the week. Finish strong and uh, take care of your business and your family. So appreciate each and every one of you being on. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap up the call. We will see you all next week, if not before. Thank you, Thank Chris. you Chris. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Have a good see weekend, everybody. Bye, Stella.